Okay, this is Noobzilla once again playing some Arcade. We're going to check out the different options in game. So the game settings shows the different screen settings you can go through and find what's best for you. Screen mode, full screen or windowed, vertical sync, there's multi-thread rendering, enabled DirectX 9 or 11 brightness, UI settings 80% through 120%. Okay, quality, low through very high. And that's graphic quality settings, environment quality for texture, character quality, view distance, terrain detail, uh, object distance, grass distance, character detail, shadows, characters, BG, shaders, shader detail, atmosphere effects, cloud effects, visual effects, effects quality, water, water quality, reflection effects, post-processing effects, HDR effects, depth of focus, anti-aliasing then for sound settings there's low through high very high overhaul overall volume VG music background effects cinematic volume in combat musical instrument volume and then it mutes music played by other characters that's probably one that I'm gonna turn on Game settings, name info, display my name, party, party members, raid members, guild members, friendly, pets, summons, my pet summon, friendly enemy, NPCs, affiliation info display, show guild name, show family name, type of name display, name, name above health bar, name on health bar, name and health bar on mouse over. Well, those are good options there. Okay. Game info, show health stats, show mana stats, show buff duration. Show target's cast bar. Show target of target's cast bar. Yes. Show combo effects in tooltips. Show damage breakdown in skill tooltips. Sure. Show item creation details. Interaction tooltip location near the cursor or bottom right of the screen. Insufficient bag space alert. I do need that because I am a pack rat. Show chat bubbles. Close tutorial. View frame rate. Display helm. Show character appearances, show glider while wearing character appearances. Back slot, slot display priority. Priority one is weapons, two shields, three cloaks, four gliders. Damage heal info target for the party. You can put it on self, party, raid, guild, or all. Damage heal info distance, zero meters through 100 meters. I have it set on 50, which is default. Functionality. Click to move, auto move to skill range. No, thank you. Kill tap skill trigger. That yeah, triggers the skill at the press of a shortcut key. Yes. Skill deployment location. Hit forward twice to dash. Yes. Double tap jump to deploy glider. Okay. Camera shake effects. Low health warning. Yes, I do need that because I will have low health a lot of the time because I am Noobzilla. Quest dialogue close ups. Show quest direction arrows. Always show loot window. Temporarily shows the loot window even when using the loot all function. Okay. Safe portal mode prevents you from traveling through portals created by other players. <laughs> that could be fun. That could be very fun. Okay. Distinguish enemies by color. Yes. I'll check that out. Max players displayed. Oh, nice. 200. That's going to be epic. But I have to sit on 100 for now. That should be fine. Decline invites and requests for party, raid, guild, family, jury, private trades, and auto decline duels. Okay, ignore whispers. Disable chat filter. Max camera distance. Mouse pan sensitivity. Viewing angle. Total my map transparency. Okay, shortcuts. Game setting shortcuts. Show basic shortcut bar. Show second, third, fourth. Shortcut bar and then show icon duration. Yes. Key settings, character controls, move forward, back, left, right, turn, left, right, jump, auto run, dive, walk, run, all the way down. Okay. You can change those as needed, which is always a good thing. Pet controls, open pet details, mount, dismount, passenger, dismount, dismiss, different modes, and the different pet skills. Here's all the different game keybinds. Check that out right there. That's pretty, pretty good. Target self, target party, target raid, next target, previous target, select a friend, previous friend, set target to track, bloodlust mode. What's this? Toggles bloodlust mode on off, which allows you to attack allies. Okay. K 
camera controls, view front, left, right, view rear, counterclockwise, clockwise, zoom in and zoom out, and here you go. UI shortcuts, character info is C. Okay, open bag is I. Okay, open quest to log is L. Okay, open skills is K. Oh, that's nice. I'll have to check that out. Open map M. Okay, there's the map. Open loyalty shop, press N. Not seeing that right now. Okay, open mail archive, shift B. Okay, open folio, oh. Okay, nice, haven't seen that yet. I'll have to check that out. Open public farmstead info, window, press P. That's public farm, public nursery, public ranch, public stable. Open ranking information, that's shift U. Okay, there we go. It says mythic, legendary, epic, divine, celestial, unique, heroic, arcane, rare, and grand. Okay. Open guild info, shift T. I'm not in a guild, but I'll show you what it looks like. No, no, I won't. Okay, uh, open rate info, shift R. Party 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way through 10. Status display, roll settings, ranged invite and raid switch okay open social info shift v friend list block list and your family their name title and role and then you can click to show offline players if you would like enter chat just press enter down there as you can see bottom left now it says general open system menu press escape Okay, there we go. Those were the different options for Arcage. I hope you learned something. I know I did. And let's go and cut this out with my dance. Because every day, I'm shuffling. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy gaming.